again it's final provincial of the season luckily it's pretty close by up in Ebenezer Dam you know, it's not that far from Zanin but it just seems like it takes forever to get there because these roads are just so bad right now potholes and buses overtaking on bends with double white lines it's great it's great um, yeah, look, the lake's in a little bit of trouble. We fished a club event there at the end of last month, and uh, fishing was poor. It was really bad. I managed to win the event with uh, around about four kilos for five fish. So not expecting a lot out of the lake this weekend. Uh, obviously, two days of fishing there, so you know, just to get a limit's going to be critical at this event just get some points on the board but yeah it should be good um, you know, the last event's always exciting because the guys are all shuffling for spots um, I think this year we've got five or six slots to nationals so yeah it's going to be a tight one um, but yeah just to get to nationals have another opportunity again at uh, making pro tiers and world champs team that's the that's the goal at the end of the day so yeah looking forward to it
Well, that brings us to the end of a, another really nice season. Um, the last tournament, exceptionally difficult. Lots of weird things happening, like fish not sticking and fish coming off on the way to the boat. And I'm just not uh, flexible enough, apparently, to catch those things on the way out of the boat. But anyway, that, that stuff happens during tournaments. and. The awesome thing about that is, is you just got to brush it off immediately and carry on and that's and I think that's a that's a big strength to have you know that I've seen a lot of guys freak out when fish come off or bounce off the boat and fortunately for me that's uh, that's not an issue just move on get uh, get busy with the job at hand and and work it out from there but yeah it was a, a really tough a really tough tournament Managed to leave the weekend with two very good scores. I think a fifth and a second. You can't ask for more than that. It's all about consistency. And at the end of the day, you want to do well throughout the season. You just need to make sure that your results are consistent. You know, it's great to win a tournament. We all love to win. But uh, top five finishes accumulated over a period of time. And that always puts you in the place you want to be. So really chuffed with that result and looking forward to nationals we've got a little bit of a break now i think there's one or two uh open tournaments left maybe a club comp here and there but it's basically oh we're on our way now countdown to nationals which has been held in natal um albert falls deep inside enemy territory um not a place i get to fish often but We'll go and put some time in and see what we can put together. And then a huge thanks, you know, um, equipment that we get to use. You know, Kistler rods, unbelievable rods. I just cannot say enough about, you know, how awesome they are. You know, there's, there's a rod to match every single style of fishing that I like doing. 
some of the rods I've had have been with me probably 10 odd years and still going to this day. You know, you look after your equipment, they, the equipment looks after you. Um, another really special product that I use is Gamma Line. I've been using it for many years now, doesn't let me down. Um, you know, I can rely on that stuff from six pound through to 25 pound. Um, it just doesn't seem to fail. It's, it's really, you know, it's really an outstanding product. You know, a lot of guys say to me, why did I choose Gamma? There are other manufacturers that have products that the, you know, the line diameter is, is, is less than the product that I use. Well, it's very simple. I mean, if you're using a 10 pound or whatever brand, um, all you have to do is use six pound Gamma. It's that simple. It's not a equation that you need to be a rocket scientist to work out. I mean, it's a simple thing. You use 10 of another brand, you use six of Gamma. It's that simple. And that six pound Gamma will outlast and far superior to any other 10 pound anyway. So it breaks at a higher capacity. So that's kind of, you know, what it's about. The liners just can take a beating. So very happy with that product. And then, you know, the biggest part of my whole fishing career is, is come down to this new one boat network. You know, I cannot say enough about Solex's, Ultrex, Talons, everything working together on the boat. You know, I can control the whole boat by just touching the screen on the Solex and that works great for me, you know. Um, the most probably the most important feature for me that I've I've really come to use a lot lately and I like using the system is auto chart. You know, auto chart allows me to map out an area that I potentially want to fish. Um, and while I'm mapping it, I get to see what's around there. Obviously on Mega Plus imaging, that is unbelievable. You can see exactly what you need to see. So it kind of works together because I'm busy mapping and also seeing what's there. And, you know, I'll go back to many years ago in my youth, my father always taught me, if you want something done properly, do it yourself. And I'm a firm believer in that. I think that is probably one of the keys to my success is that if you are taking care of manufacturing the stuff that you need to help you along the way, like your charts, and spending time looking what's around at the end of the day it benefits you. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to lay around in my lounge looking at a big screen TV at a map. It's not my map. Um, you know, I, I haven't driven over it. I, you know, I don't know how good it is. The map that I make, I know I've approached that area from so many different angles that I've made the map the way I want the map to be. And that works for me, you know. Other mapping systems work for other guys and that's great. You know, there's some nice stuff out there, but that doesn't work for me. Um, I need to be able to do that stuff myself. And I think it's important because you get a much better feel for, for what you're fishing. But in saying that, I just, you know, really thankful. Another big shout out to Saba for allowing us the opportunity or providing the opportunity for a province like Limpopo to be a part of the system and I think this year we are sending seven anglers to nationals. So yeah, just a big shout out to Saba for having such a great system and uh, giving us all the opportunity to get back to to nationals and hopefully, you know, um, things go well and try and uh, make the national team again, that would be great. And let's see what happens from there. So awesome season and thank you to everybody for watching the videos appreciate it and uh we'll see you boys at nationals